here too. Hi, we're gonna show you how to make a spindle box at home. I'm doing it with Wyatt and Virginia. They're over here on my Zoom meeting. Can you guys say hi? Hey. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm recording it two ways because I don't trust my technology skills. All right, you guys ready? Masking tape, here we go. I gotta find the opening for my masking tape. All right, so we're gonna make a line on the floor. Oh, of course my masking tape isn't gonna work very well. Oh, here it goes, here it goes. Okay, do you have a, it, it ready, Virginia? Okay, good. So we're gonna make our own spindle box on the ground like this. Let's see if you can see mine, you see it? So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna make a rectangle. I'm gonna move this camera. Okay, ready? We're gonna make a, on the floor, why not? Cause I thought it would be fun on the floor cause we do our work on a rug, right? So you wanna make a big rectangle because we're gonna try to have nine spaces, just like we have on our spindle box, okay? Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, ten. up to nine. And then we're going to cut them out and we're going to put them as part of our spindle box, okay? Zero, one, two, three. Just do it up to nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know I had some of those issues too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now Virginia, you're gonna cut out each number. So Virginia's gonna cut out the numbers. I was gonna try to make the numbers with tape because I thought. Can I like cut a line like this? Yes, perfect. So Virginia's gonna cut numbers out on a piece of paper and put them on the spindle box. I'm gonna try to make my numbers with tape because I thought. 
then it would be a sense it would be a sensory experience tracing the numbers perfect now cut each one I forgot to put zero. I can fix that. Um, you're going to put zero in the first one, Virginia, and then you're going to put one in the next one, and you're going to put one number in each spot up through nine. And I'm making mine with masking tape so that you could trace the number if you wanted, kind of like sandpaper numbers. in each section, then we're going to start counting. I'll show you. Okay. So now, Wyatt, you're going to go sit where Jesse is sitting so that you're facing the numbers. Is that right? And bring your noodles with you. Okay. And so, Wyatt, do you remember what zero means? What does zero mean? Uh, uh, Nothing. 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 So don't put anything where it says zero, okay? And actually, will you just dump your noodles out right there next to um, Virginia because I want you to t touch each one as you count them, okay? You ready? So make a pile, Virginia. Okay. So a really important part of this, Wyatt, is I want you to touch a noodle and scooch it over and say one. And then put it where there is a, the number one. Good. Now you're gonna do the same thing, but I want you to slide each noodle. Like, watch me, Wyatt. So here's my, my little stack of noodles. I go like this, one. And then I put it where it's one. Ready? Watch me do two, okay, Wyatt? One, two. And then I pick it up with my whole hand and I put it where there's two. Okay? Can you do two? Touch your hand to each one as you say the number. Pick it up with your whole hand, one hand, and put it where it says two. Okay, ready? Let's do three together, Wyatt. Are you ready? Here we go. Watch. Wyatt, watch me. Ready? One, two, three. I'm going to pick it up with my hand, and I'm going to put it where it says three.
perfect. Now pick it up with one hand, because you're getting a feel for how many noodles is in one hand, and put it where it says four. So for mine, I actually did um, my numbers in tape because then you could practice writing the numbers and touching them as you go, like this. Okay, so we're gonna do four. Are you ready, Wyatt? One, two, three, four. There's my spindle box I made. So you can also make this at home using an egg carton, or you could do it with jars and sticks. If you did it with the jars and sticks, you would just put the numbers on the jars um, and put them in order. If you did it with the egg cartons, you would just put the number in each egg carton. But it's important that you put zero and you explain that zero means nothing. It's also important that you um, show them how to count, put the whole pile right here, and I'm gonna show you how you do five. So one, two, three, four, five. So I counted and touched each one, and then I pick it up with my hand, because the idea is they're having a feel of what five feels like, and then they're gonna place it where the number five goes.